is constructing, but nothing ever seems to get built. So you're just flat and pale, but that's a smile on your face. Cost you money making you a. Well, uh, my name is Cecil R. Eisen. I am a native of this place right here. I was born approximately 300 feet from where I'm sitting. So it is home to me. I am an archeologist by training and spent most of my career on the Daniel Boone National Forest as the archeologist there, which was absolutely wonderful because you have the whole array of site types that uh, would even thrill Indiana Jones. We moved here in this house 30 years ago and it started then. I started with the field of forensic anthropomorphology since I am a trained anthropologist to begin with when I noticed an occurrence, an unusually high occurrence of doll parts scattered throughout national forest lands. And it, it didn't occur, it didn't seem like national forest lands would be an area that you would find a lot of children playing. And as I looked closer into these remains that I kept finding, there seemed to be a pattern that, yes, they started out as children's plate things, but the, the end of their lives, they, uh, they had become objects of adult play. And, uh, and carnage. The first one, the first doll I ever discovered on the forest uh, was lying in a ditch and uh, with mud starting to mat its hair, but it had a tick, a common deer tick, pinned to its forehead. And I, I was thinking, I I don't recall any child's play activities that involve pinning ticks to dolls' foreheads and then uh, disposing of them on remote Forest Service roads. I, re I received dolls from across the world. I've received uh, some that had washed up on the shores of Chile. Others from, as I mentioned, uh, the remote areas of uh, wildernesses in Montana or California. Beneath church floors out of Georgia. Uh, along levee dikes from New Orleans. Wherever you look, if you look hard enough, you will find disturbance to a doll. I don't like to see things wasted. And uh, 
I just like to recycle as much as I can. I don't like to see bottle caps go to their death in a landfill where they will never see the light of the sun again. So I turn them into pretties that where they can sit outside and uh, enjoy each day, watch the sun come up every day. Are they animate? Are they inanimate? I think everything has a soul, a, a spirit of some sort attached to it, a part of energy. And when you put the bottle caps together, they create just a, a tiny little zing of energy by themselves. The one behind me was made from uh, discarded upholstery, part of uh, a trailer underpinning, bingo chips, and uh, precious jewels. I made that for my, my lovely, lovely wife for her Christmas present uh, a few years back. Because she is so close to an angel, I thought I would make her an angel as well. Unfortunately, one of them had a slight mishap as she was entering the pearly gates and uh, lost, uh, lost a foot. But with modern technology today, uh, St. Gabriel was uh, able to whittle her out a peg leg in no time at all. What I, what I really enjoy more than anything in the world is to see other people happy. And for some, painting gourds is something that makes them happy. I've rarely seen a frown upon anyone's face when they were doing art. And everyone, everyone does art. Maybe you doodle on the side of a page while you're taking notes in a, at a paper or in class or whatever. Uh, maybe you just, you like to color when you were a kid and continue to do that. If you don't do art, you appreciate art. I don't know what the, uh, the attraction is because if you went to anyone's house, you will find art in every nook and corner of some sort. Perhaps mine is just uh, a little more bizarre than others. But it's just the way I see the world. And you can see the world through art, or just being able to, to do something that is totally pleasant to you. And if other people find it pleasant, that's just a huge big plus. But as long as you are comfortable with what you're doing, if it's painting your toenails, fine. As long as you're comfortable with it, and it puts just a tint, just a hint of a smile on your face, then you've succeeded.